So this is the age of the universe in a fairly crude but surprisingly accurate. We can make use of Hubble's law which describes the relationship between the speed a galaxy is moving away from the Earth and the distance the galaxy is from the Earth. And these are related by Hubble's constant. You can use this to crudely find out what the age of the universe is. So how do we measure distance? Well, obviously galaxies that's further away are less bright, but we know the relationship between the brightness of certain supernova that might occur in these galaxies and the time after the supernova has occurred. So when the supernova occurs we get a very specific brightness curve in say a type 1a supernova. So from this we can look at how bright the supernova appears to be in the galaxy and thus determine how far away the galaxy is using some simple mathematical relations. We can find out the speed of galaxies moving away from us by looking at the wavelengths of light it emits. When the galaxy is moving towards us it looks bluer than usual because the light waves that the galaxy emits are compressed together and likewise when the galaxy is moving away it looks redder than usual. So we can have a look at the way the wavelength of light has shifted from what it usually should be and thankfully there are some mathematical relationships that, will that can help us use this uh, version of the Doppler effect with light to tell us how fast the galaxy is moving away from us. So how can we use this to find Hubble's constant? Well, we could plot a graph of recession speed of the galaxy against distance and then draw a scatter plot. And of course the gradient of the straight line will be equal to Hubble's constant because this is a straight line graph. So this is how we can calculate Hubble's constant. So how can we use Hubble's law to calculate the age of the universe? The galaxy, as the universe expands, the galaxies move further and further away from Earth at that their individual recession speeds. But of course we can run that backwards and have them come closer and closer until they're all on top of each other. And of course when they're all on top of each other, this is the moment of the Big Bang. So, if we know the galaxy's speed, we can work out the time using speed equals distance over time. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. Of course, we have recession speed is equal to Hubble's constant times d. So, like the first equation at the top, the recession speed is equal to distance divided by 1 over the Hubble's constant. So we can see similarly that distance over speed, distance of the galaxies over the recession speed, is 1 over Hubble's constant. So the age of the universe is equal to Hubble's constant to the minus 1, or 1 over Hubble's constant. And this assumes that the galaxies are moving away at a constant speed, of course. So it won't give a perfect result. But if you were to calculate the inverse of Hubble's constant using current values, you would get the age of the universe is about 14.1 billion years, which is surprisingly accurate for such a crude method.